Hey, how you doing? Scott here from Scott's Bass Lessons and we've got another video for you today. I'm going to be taking you through my top 15 um, books for bass. So uh, if you've got, you know, Christmas presents coming up or you want to be doing something next year, looking into different books to get, um, I'm sure I'm going to give you a lot of ideas right now. Um, if you haven't signed up to our Christmas list yet, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, just hit the link below this video. It'll take you through to a page where you can sign up. And what we're doing through all of December, right from the first right to Christmas Day, is re re we're releasing we're releasing um, a brand new video every day, just like this. But we're also doing giveaways. We're going to be giving away um, effects, pedals, strings, the full shebang. Every week we're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to be doing exclusive behind the scenes content here. Um, at Scott's Bass Essence, we're going to be doing a ton of stuff. So to get notified about that, you've got to sign up to the Christmas list. Hit the link below this video if you're watching it on YouTube to get added to that list. And, and if not, uh, you're probably already on the list. In fact, we've got a special website made up with Christmas snowflakes. So you might be watching it on that right now. So let's get stuck into the books, okay? So I've kind of organised them into different piles for the different things that you'd be working on. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to look at sight reading. I've got three sight reading books here that I've used in the past and they're really cool. The first one is the, now I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I always think Josquin Dupree, um, but I think it might be Dupre. Oh, so Jos, Josquin Dupree or Dupre, and it is simplified sight reading for bass. This is a really, really great book. Um, it goes right from the start. It's got a, it works on rhythms and then it brings, um, you know, brings different key signatures into the, into the mix as well. And it comes with a CD. So that's a great book for sight reading. And another great book is, now this is, old, we're going old school here, and it's The Complete Electric Bass Player by Chuck Rainey, book one. Now it's got to be book one, the method, okay? Make sure you get the right one if you're going to get this. And again, this is just, I found this really great because it, it just, it works on the rhythms and it works on the, um, on the intervals as well, but it just does it in a great way. You start off with quarter notes and then eighth notes and he shows you different ways of writing different phrases. Um, I really like this book. I used it, this is the, probably the book I use most with, you know, um, practicing my sight read in the, in the past. Um, and it's vintage, you've got to love vintage stuff, right? I wonder when it was done. I wonder if it says anywhere. Um, it might say when this was printed. Oh, we've got, oh, nine and day, dee 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 dee. <laughs> um, here we go, when was it done? 1985, there you go, 1985. So a bit vintage there. Um, how old was I? I was seven in 1985. And finally, for sight reading, for the brave ones of you, Charlie Parker, but the Omni book, bass clef, okay? So this is like trombone players can use this, but obviously it's bass clef, so bass players can use it as well. And I say for the brave ones of you because, you know, it's tough. As these, these are like more structured for learning bass, the two that previously that I talked about. This is just for any instrument. Now, it's great for reading, but this also is great just to look into bebop soloing, bebop heads and that type of thing, you know. It's really good. Charlie Parker, Omnibook. Make sure you get the bass clef. That's the one that you want. Uh, so that's the sight reading ones. Now, overall, just cool bass books. Um, I've got a few here that I want to, that were really important for me. Okay, the first one is by none other than Ed Friedland, who is my favourite author ever. You know, any of Ed's books, you should get them. They're just um, absolutely amazing. This one, the Jazz Bass book, um, it's kind of sort of like an introduction to Jazz Bass, so it gives you an introduction to um, bosses and sambas and walking bass lines and solos and stuff like that, and it's just an overall great book to get. It, again, it comes with a CD. I've lost mine because I got this absolute, you know, I must have had this like 15 years ago, maybe 10 years ago or something like that. But yeah, check out that. And Ed Friedland, if you haven't checked out his stuff, The Bass Whisperer, check it out. And also, Ed does live stream um, Q&A sessions every month in the Scots Bass Lessons Academy as well, where you can ask, ask him questions live. 
Um, so if you haven't checked out the SBL Academy yet, do that and you can interact with Ed live every month. So that's the first one. And while I'm giving Ed some love, um, this was another really important book for me as well, Expanding Walking Baselines. Now Ed does another book called Walking Base. I think it's just Walking Baselines. And then there was an Expanding Walking Baselines. I never owned the Walking Baselines one, but it's really great. Um, but the Expanding Walking Baselines, again, it's, it's just a really, really great book. I can't recommend this enough. Any of Ed's stuff, just get it. He's a great writer. Um, the next one, 101 Base Tips by Gary Willis. This is just a really cool book. It's, it's, it's like, a, it is what it says on the packet. It's 101 Base Tips. Um, for instance, um, I'm going to like drum machine do's and don'ts, the one chorus solo. He talks about monitoring. He gives you a toolkit list. He talks about in and out of phase, reusing fretless strings, how to bend strings in when you're fitting them. Um, adjusting the truss rods, string heightening, pickup balancing, shimming the neck, memorization of the you know bass tunes, false harmonics. It's just right through. You know, there's a, it says on the on the back technique, improvising and soloing, equipment, practicing, ear training, performance, and much more. And that's exactly what it is. And Gary Willis is an absolute badass. Um, I was lucky enough ten years ago, maybe more than ten years ago. 13, 14 years ago to study with Gary Willis and he blew my mind every time I got to, got to hang out with him. So check out his book, 101 Bass Tips and his albums too. He plays in a great band called Tribal Tech as, as, as well as his own stuff as well. <gasps> okay, as you can see, I'm trying to go fast through these, okay, because we've got a lot of books. This next one, bit of a wild card here. I've never really seen anybody really talking about these. Um, the Ultimate Play Along, Just Classic Jazz. And this is volume three. And this is Jimmy Haslip and Barry Coates. And, and they take you through different standards and talk about the improvisational methods that they're using on them. So we've got My Funny Valentine, Night and Day, How High the Moon, Emily, blah, 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 blah. You know, some really softly as morning sunrise, summertime. So there's some great stuff in here. But, and yeah, th there's some great stuff. It's just great to hear Jimmy Hazlitt play on standards as well. Like it has a CD in there. I bet I've lost that one as well. It does come with the CD. Um, <laughs> I've lost all my CDs. Um, it's really fantastic to hear Jimmy Hazlitt playing in this, you know, in this medium really over jazz standards because um, up until this point, I'd heard him play on his own stuff, which is, you know, it's jazzy with the yellow jackets and stuff like that. But this, just hearing him play on um, standards was just amazing. So beautiful tone on that as well he's got. So if you're looking at sort of like soloing on jazz standards and that type of thing, this is a great, great book. And I think by looking at the back, there's a volume two and a volume one. Yeah, volume one, two and three, all four. And it's all different standards, I think. So maybe just... Maybe get all three. Maybe I'll get all three. Okay, so the final one for just cool bass stuff is Fishing for Grips by Todd Johnson and uh, Mr. Stinnett. Yeah, Jim Stinnett. So Todd Johnson and Jim Stinnett, both amazing educators. And this comes with a DVD and it just, it's, it, it's, it's chord melody for bass. So that's what it's taking you through, how to do chord melody on bass. And... They're just two great guys. You should really check out all of their stuff. Um, Todd has a great website. Check his stuff out. He's got courses and stuff on there. You should check out. Um, just really top, top guys. And Todd also does live, he's one of the guest artists at Scott's Bass Lessons Academy um, and does live monthly Q&A sessions so you can get on live with Todd and, you know, Ask, ask him exactly what you want, whatever your, your problems are, you know, you can uh, discuss it with Todd and he'll, uh, he'll fix you up. So, where shall I go now? While we're on the, while we're on talking about jazz, I just want to say that, wow, fall into bits, so my books are falling to bits. Um, the real books are a really good investment as well if you are looking to get into jazz or using it as a kind of sort of like a practice vehicle and going to jam sessions and things like that. There's two main real books you should get. The first one is the, I think this is Chuck Scher, is it? No, this is, this is Scher. This is Hal Leonard. So Hal Leonard, the real book. I've got the sixth edition. 
but I, I really like the fifth edition. That's the, you know, you know, 90% of the tunes are the same, I think, in the fifth and sixth edition. I'm probably, I'm probably on our seventh or eighth edition now, but the fifth edition's got some really good ones. Uh, but any of them do. So Hal Leonard, I think that one is, uh, the real book. That's a great real book to get. And it obviously just a ton of jazz tunes. And the other one with some tunes that are missing out of that is the Share Music, or I like to call it Share Music because I wish that Share um, was secretly in charge of Share Music. It'd just be so weird, you know. But anyway, um, nothing wrong with Share. Um, but anyway, the new real book by Share Music Company. And again, it's just, th these are really nice, nicely written out. Um, everything's in treble clef. I think you can get these. In, you can get this. Uh, I think you can get this one in in bass clef. But um, I've got both in treble clef. So, so they're the real books, um, and I would recommend any everybody that's going to jam sessions, especially like jazz type jazz jam, jam sessions, to arm yourself with one of these bad boys. Um, so now onto the more heavy type of improvisational stuff. Okay, so if you're looking into improvisation, this is what you want to. Uh, get into. So the first one is, I think this is still in print, it's by um, an Irish dude called Ronan Guilfoyle who is a really really great bass player. Um, he's played with guys like David Liebman, um, Jim Black, you know some real heavy cats. He lives over in Ireland and he runs one of the biggest, I can't remember the, uh, I can't remember the music school over in Dublin but he's you know the guy there, he's the, uh, the, the main director of that I think. Um, and his book is Creative Rhythmic Concepts for Jazz Improvisation and it's really, really cool. It's not so much about scales, what scales to play on, what chords or anything like that. This is about rhythmical concepts and he really, really pushes the envelope here. Um, there's some really heavy stuff in here. So if you're looking to get into rhythmical concepts, he's the man. Again, it comes with a CD and again, it's not in the book because I've lost it. I might have it somewhere. So, next one. This is really cool. Chuck Scher and Mark Johnson. Okay. Um, this is Concepts for Bass Soloing. It's a really badass um, bass book. It's got some, as it says on the packet, it's, you know, Concepts for Bass Soloing. It's just got some really, really great, um, great stuff in here. And it gives you some, like, specific language like licks to learn over different chords and stuff like that. Again, it's an advanced type book, this, so don't don't go down this route if you're just kind of getting into jazz soloing because it will you'll get it and then it'll just go on the bookshelf for the next few years. Um, but it's a real great one if you're if you're getting to the point where you need to be looking into that kind of stuff. And holy moly, I've got the CDs or DVDs in there. Okay. Wow, getting to the end of this. Um, so um, yeah, this one is by David Liebman, who is a saxophone player. Um, it's called How to Approach Standards Chromatically and it's just a really, really great book for, for me, it, was, it really got me thinking out of the box and not like a bass player and more like, maybe not, maybe not like a saxophone player but more like a melodic player and you just, you know, there's a lot of breaking the rules in this book, it's really good, there's a CD enclosed, obviously not enclosed in mine. <laughs> um, and, but it's just such a really, really great book. Dave Liebman, absolute monster, um, monster sax player. And this is on Abersold. This is Abersold. All of these books, if you just search them on Google, you'll be able to find, you know, who published them and stuff like that. Again, it's a real serious book, not for the uh, beginner. Um, or It's not really intermediate either. It's sort of like these are quite advanced. Okay, so... Inside Improvisation Series by Jerry Bagonzi, and this is Melodic Rhythms. So I'm really into melodic phrases and rhythmical phrasing and playing around with that type of thing. Any of these books, the Jerry Bagonzi books, he's, he's done a series of these. Jerry Bagonzi is an amazing saxophone player and teaches, I think, is it Berkeley or... Might be Berkeley, it might be... No, I think it is Berkeley. Um, maybe the... Um, maybe the other one. Anyway... Um, I digress. Um, he, he's does, uh, done a really great um, series of books for people that are looking into improvisation in a real serious way. He's a sax player, as I mentioned, but all of this stuff is, you know, usable on the bass. Again, it's a heavy book, not heavy in weight. Well, you know, it is quite heavy, but it's a, it's a heavy book. It's for, you know, it's for the more advanced improviser or somebody that's getting there. But really great series of uh, 
<coughs> series, and I think it does come with a CD, but it's not in mine. And finally, on the improvisation section, then I've got one more I want to talk about. This is the 16th, bonus 16th one, is how to improvise by Hal Crook. Hal Crook's a trombone player, um, teaches in Berkeley, and he's just a, such a great teacher. This is just, it's, a, it's just a great, it's a, a great book you know, for anybody that's looking into improvisation. It's on that intermediate to advanced side of things again. I think anything, you know, um, bass related, if, if you're a bass player looking into improvisation, you know, or, well, this is what I did when I got to sort of like up to that intermediate thing, intermediate, that level, I kind of just looked at bass books. And then when I moved from that intermediate into the advanced kind of stuff, this is when I started looking at different books from different instruments because I found that it was, you know, it was applicable on all instruments. Uh, so this is a really, really great book. Um, and again, Hal Cook has done other books as well. That I think Ready Aim Improvise is another one that he's done. I might tell you in here actually. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. It's a great book though, um, and it does come with CDs. So finally. <clears throat> and this, you're not going to learn, you know, any scales in here and, you know, no techniques or anything like that. But it's Effortless Mastery by Kenny Werner. And this book is more, it's looking at the psychological side of playing music and kind of looking, you know, at the inner you, um, reflecting on yourself and music. And it's, it's really amazing. I can't recommend this book enough. It's a, an amazing read. Um, Kenny Werner is a fantastic piano player, one of my favourite piano players ever. Um, I just love listening to him and and even though this isn't talking about scales or technique or anything like that and it's talking about a more psychological you know lo looking at the inner you a more holistic approach to music and stuff like that um, this book will make you a better player you know just as much of any as, as any of these it's a really really great book um, and, and again you know Kenny Werner just a fantastic piano player and an amazing all-around dude so um, thanks for that book Kenny I've read it about four times and that's it guys as you can see this is a lot of books I do recommend getting books they're great um, I've got a whole lot of them and this is just a small selection of all my books I've got a ton of other books I might one day you know do a full library library uh, walkthrough or show through or something show you all my library and all the books that I've got over the years and um, there's some cool stuff in there but other than that um, if you haven't checked out scotsbasslessons.com make sure you do so there's some wicked stuff going on over there and check out the Scots Bass Lessons Academy as well where you've got full courses um, step by step stuff and you can also interact live with people like me uh, Ed Friedland, Todd Johnson, Steve Lawson, Anthony Wellington, you know, like I'm talking sort of like cream of the crop bass educators. You can interact with them live every week. We do streaming via the site and there's a, a massive kick-ass community as well in there too. So like we're really pushing things to the next level with bass education. Um, hopefully you've signed up to our Christmas list, Santa's list, Christmas list, and you'll be getting, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be releasing videos just like this every day all of December. So other than that, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed. Bye.